my mistake. I hate IT and I don't have any background in engineering. <laughs> okay. I'm sure. present. Sorry, but your topic is obviously project management, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it is a project management, but uh, it is one. not in engineering at all. Okay. My background uh, in uh, finance right. and audit. Uh, the financial risk management, uh, my topic about the financial risk management in governmental projects in Dubai, and it is uncompleted uh, research, and uh, now I am in the data collection phase. Um, after winning of Expo 2020, Dubai faces a revolution in constructions and infra, infra infrastructure uh, projects to prepare for the Expo 2020. The government of Dubai has committed a lot of resources to a series of public projects that are meant to change the face of this city. And these mega, pro mega projects are meant to turn the city into a world's leading tourist destination. Tonquest warns that project implementation process is always faced by a challenges and by a seri series of challenges that the project management team must be aware of uh, and determine how to deal with them adequately. Government officials responsible uh, for such projects, programs, and portfolio management must be aware of that they, they are dealing with the projects uh, that face risks and uh, that if these risks are not handled appropriately, uh, a project may be, might may may fail to achieve its objectives. The background and purpose of the, of the research, uh, this research is, the focus of this research is on the effect of financial risk on government projects and how to manage, manage them. So the general purpose of this study to present a, com a comprehensive analysis of the financial risk and the impact, pro the impact on project sponsored by the government of Dubai. In addition to this, uh, the study aims to ident identify any gaps or weaknesses in the current risk management systems adopted by the government of Dubai with respect uh, of its uh, sponsored projects. The scope of this uh, study is focused on a specific aspect which is namely financial risk management and pertaining to projects sponsored by the government of Dubai. This implies uh, a unique context that is highly relevant since the government of Dubai uh, does, doesn't only act as a government or as a, an authority, uh, but also as a major investment authority with, with economic and investment arms that dominate economic activity. In the, in the region. This sets Dubai apart from the vast authorities uh, and the vast majority of the gover governments where the state plays, plays a significant but limited role in the economy, while economy, economic activity is dominated by the private sector. Hence, the nature of financial risk of a, of a project sponsored by the government are likely to have a much bigger impact on the government of Dubai relevant to the other governments. Uh, secondly, the political, legal, and economic environment in which uh, the government of Dubai operates and manages its financial and economic interests are substantially different from such environment prevailing in the, uh, in the other regions uh, or in the other, in the other countries. And this entails a different set of, re of relationship mechanism and layers of governance. There are many types of risks that associate with the governmental projects, uh, such as indirect, uh, indirect risk and uh, direct risk the, uh, that affects the projects in its phases, uh, namely in, uh, in initiation phases, uh, execution and post-execution, Phases. Those risks may, um, may be financial in their nature, such as allocation of the, uh, of the resources, financial resources, such as availability or lack of financial resources, and the other 
the other uh, risks are administrative in their uh, nature, such as the controlling or monitoring of the projects in its, in its uh, several phases. Uh, second category of risk are specific to those uh, entities who develop the, uh, the projects, the developers and the executors of the projects, uh, and they take the on the responsibility that those who take the responsibility to execute the projects. Those developers, if, if they fail, if they fail to to uh, to complete these uh, projects. Um, in certain phases, they will uh, impact the uh, the the project. <laughs> For example, the financial failure uh, failure of the developer could result in serious delays or even in the failure of the project together. Third category of risk relates to the impact of projects, especially those categorized AMIGA projects on the government as a sponsor. Uh, regardless of, of whether the actual project is successfully completed or not, uh, mega projects are massive undertaking that can impose severe constraints on the financial and other so resources, delays and budget running, uh, out of control associated with mega proje projects, can quickly drain the resources of a sponsor, even if it is, even if the sponsor is a government. And the scope of this is, uh, study is limited to the following steps: presenting an extensive review of the literature on uh, on financial risk associated with the projects in general and those sponsored by the government in particular. The purpose of this review is to provide a theoretical background related to risk management and to present a theoretical foundation for explaining any problems uh, or weaknesses identified and for supporting any recommended solutions or framework. Assessing and evaluating the various financial risks and variables that impact financial risk that affect the projects sponsored by government, in du government of Dubai in general and the, the governments in general and the government of Dubai in particular. Uh, this assessment will include both the risk related to, spon to the sponsored uh, government and those associated with different uh, types of developers. The assessment is based on the theoretic, theoretical understanding of the issue and, the, and, and its purpose is to map the nature of financial risk and factors that affect the financial risk of projects sponsored by the government of Dubai. Develop, developing a comprehensive financial management framework that can be implemented by the government of Dubai, uh, that can identify and assess risk, provide risk mitigation standards and procedure, and enable the government of Dubai to avoid and minimize exposure uh, to the financial risk. The framework will be based on the theoretical framework of risk management and will be designed to encompass the various relevant risk and mediating factors which are relevant to the project sponsored by the government of Dubai. Designing and recommending appropriate uh, and effective implementable solutions to prevent and mitigating financial risk associated with uh, projects based on uh, international best practices that have been successfully and effectively tested and implemented in different contexts. Research question. Uh, the study aims at answering the following primary research question. What are the types of financial risks that affect the implementation of government projects in Dubai? The purpose of this question is to identify the re relevant types of financial risks, their, source, uh, their sources, and their potential implication for projects sponsored by the government of Dubai. Uh, in addressing this question, uh, the study will cover the general, the general types of financial risk and encounter projects. Uh, in general, financial risk that encounter gov government sponsored projects and the specific financial risk that encounter the project sponsored by the government of Dubai. To what extent is the, is the current 
financial risk management system adopted by the government of Dubai for its sponsored projects in line with the internationalist practice. Addressing this question aims to at evaluating the strength of the current uh, system uh, adopted by the government of Dubai and the extent to which it is adequate and effective in mitigating the risk uh, and preventing the relevant financial risk. Uh, the evaluation will be conducted against a clearly defined set of international standards and its purpose is to identify whether or not a gap exists between the financial risk management system adopted by, by government and the rest of the world. Um, what is the impact of financial risk on the government project? Uh, in Dubai, addressing this question also is important for two reasons. First, it will provide a better understanding of the impact of financial risk on government-sponsored projects, on developers' perspectives, and on the government of Dubai itself. Secondly, identifying the impact, impact of risk will enable the researcher to trace the source of risk, which is essential to end the development development of the comprehensive financial risk management system. What is the appropriate enterprise risk management frame, framework and mechanism that the government of Dubai should apply to mitigate financial risk associated with the government, the governmental projects? Dubai should apply to mitigate the, the mechanism here. We are uh, presenting the mechanism that should, Dubai should uh, apply to mitigate financial risk uh, management and this question, question represent the combination of the findings of this study and the outcomes of the analysis since the purpose of, the, of this, uh, this study is to propose and recommend the necessary effective mechanism uh, that should be implemented to ensure uh, adequate prevention or mitigation of the uh, financial risk uh, pertains to the uh, projects in Dubai. Uh, <coughs> the current research has the following specific objectives re reviewing the existing literature related to various risks that are inherently present in the governmental projects, identifying and analyzing the financial risk that affect governmental projects in Dubai, exploring based on the above, suitable methods to measure the financial risk of projects, suggesting appropriate solutions to mitigate the financial risk so that projects are implemented successfully. Um, uh, my literature review, uh, based on major projects in Dubai, constraints affecting government projects, financial risk, and uh, their impact on project success theories and models of the uh, risk management uh, system. Research methodology, um, to achieve the objective of the current research, a qualitative approach is adopted. Um, the research methodology in this research is selected to provide the most coherent achievement of the objective of the study. And to answer the, these questions, uh, several instruments will be used to collect data as follows. A case study from uh, Road and Transport uh, Authority, uh, civil structured <coughs> interviews, reviewing documents related to the topic of the study. Expected outcome of the research modifying existing models and theories that adopted by the by government of Dubai uh, pertaining to the projects, uh, policy formation. Limitation. This research is limited to the context of Dubai government and will not cover other uh, emirates. The interviewees might be con conservative and they do not provide enough information related to a related investigated topic. My current job might affect the research when collecting data. Lack of studies about financial risk that covers uh, covered projects in Dubai. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Any comments? What do you mean by your current job might affect the collection of data? Actually, uh, I was uh, I was 16, uh, 16 years 
in government uh, audit. Uh, it's under the rulers court of uh, uh, the rulers of uh, Dubai. Okay, and we audit all governments in uh, all government all projects in government. So they might feel that I am tackling their uh, problem or uh, uh, so they will be conservative in providing information. Doesn't mean that your position right now will affect their view of your yes. collection of data. Yeah. Okay. Not that you have bias to how you're going to collect the data. Like yes. you have your own views on how the data should be collected. No. How are you gathering the information about the projects? How? How do you gather the information from the projects? How are we get the information? Yes, from the projects. The, gather the information. Uh, I don't have to say that, but it's from my experience in auditing the, <laughs> the, uh, the government of Dubai. So we are the top of the umbrella of the government of Dubai. We are responsible to uh, audit and review all everything in gov government and semi-government like companies. Yeah. Okay, and your committee or organization, it will also draft a recommendation to the government for yes. the government for the uh, let's say this or this or that or recommendations actually for improving the practice yes. of the government projects, right? Yes. Okay, and. Uh, the fact that there are different government entities. Yes. For example, in construction, you have the Labor Municipality, you have mm -hmm. the DCCA, mm -hmm. which used before TCOM, and then the JAFSA. Mm -hmm. So different entities actually. So are you rich all these particular entities and one fit all or you are also over, uh, over overcoming the other entities and uh, free zones, which is DCA, JAFSA? Yes. I'm covering also the semi-government, which is JAFSA, Dubai, yeah. Dubai, yes.